red. Orchid. What is up, guys? Welcome to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. We make pottery videos here. So glad to be have you in the studio. Today, I have a very exciting special video for you guys today. We're gonna talk about how to make colored clay. Probably for the last year, I've been doing some of this marbled work. And it's probably one of the things that people ask about the most is how do you get this look and the handle unfortunately broke off this mug but all these pieces are different ways that we used colored clay and the real term for this is actually agate wear or near comey depending on if you're throwing or hand building or functional but i just call it marbled because i think that just exemplifies exactly what it is and everybody knows what a marbled piece looks like we have a bunch of these are called either mason stains or pigments and you can get them at a variety of different places. I have gotten these at a, uh, a website called US Pigment or uspigments.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but I have found that they have the best value there because these are not that inexpensive. They're not cheap. Most of the time, most clay stuff like glazes and uh, glaze chemicals, clay is pretty inexpensive, but these are fairly expensive. So you wanna make sure that you're just picking the right places to buy from. So US Pigment, you get more bang for your buck from them than you do from other places I've found. So we have a bunch of different colors here, right? Celestial green, robin's egg blue, orchid, orange, what is this? Clover pink, intense red, lavender, black, peacock. So I wanted to just share with you guys how to make up the clay. We'll probably just smash a few of them together and make a couple pieces on the wheel. So that's what you have in store for today's video. So a couple things you're gonna need, you're gonna need the mason stains. You're gonna need a nice white, colored clay. This is B clay from Continental Clay. It's a nice stoneware porcelain mix. It makes the colors really show pretty well. If you want the colors to show up the best, I think the porcelain is the best. Although I could get some porcelain out and maybe make a little bit of porcelain up and compare the two. You need a scale. So this is just a cheap kitchen scale uh, that you can get on Amazon for like 20 bucks or 15. Maybe it's even like less than that. I'll put a link to this in the description. And then a mask. Cause anytime you work with dry, clay materials, you wanna make sure that you are wearing a mask because you don't wanna breathe that in. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some clay out. Okay, so we have five pieces of clay, so they're each like about five pounds. And I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna make like the celestial green, the robin's egg blue, the peacock, we'll do the red, and how about the orchid? I made a bunch of pink ones for like Valentine's Day, and so I had a bunch of different pinks. Basically what you need to know about how much pigment to add in to the clay is based on how vibrant you want the color to be, right? So in this mug, I have a couple different ones. I think that this is the chartreuse, that kind of green in there, and then this is like a dark blue, and then this is the same blue as this. It just has less pigment in it. You want somewhere between two and 10%. If you use 10% of the weight of clay in the pigment, then that's gonna be a pretty like bright, vibrant, like deep color. If you use 2%, then it's gonna be much lighter. So you can have a lot of different shades within what you use, depending on what the percentage is. So what I kind of like to do is if I just wanna go straight like the color, I'll usually use about 8%, okay? So that's when we get our scale in here. And I would also recommend having a calculator, that would help. So if we go in grams and we weigh the clay, that's 2,400 grams of clay right here, right? 0 .8, 0 .08, which is 8%, times 2,400 grams equals 192. So if we wanna put 8% of peacock into this here, then we need to measure out 192 grams of this pigment to put into here, okay? So now I'm gonna put the mask on. So basically now we need to get this pigment, this mason stain, into this amount of clay by wedging it a ton. 
And I'll just forewarn you that you have to wedge a lot in this, like way more than you thought. So what I like to do is slice this up into thin pieces, kind of spread it out, and then spray water onto there so that, because obviously you're mixing a dry powder into a clay that you want to be about this consistency of moisture. So you need to add some water back in because of this, because of how dry the powder is, okay? So I'm gonna do that, slice it up, kind of wedge it, and I'll show you how much it takes to wedge. I mean, I'll speed it up because otherwise this would be a painful video to watch. So, all right, let's do it. Now, we got some peacock colored clay right here. We got some blue hands. I could probably still wedge that up even more. Like it takes, you can kind of see if you cut it open. That's pretty good. I mean, you just want like a really uniform color all throughout. You don't want to see any streaks or anything. So we're getting pretty close. Also getting kind of hot. Oh yeah, Robin's egg. All right, so this is Robin's egg blue now. All right, there's some robin's egg blue. So we got peacock, we got robin's egg. Now we're gonna make some green, some red, some orchid. Whew, I gotta change, I'm hot. Hey Siri, what's 8% of 2200? 8% times 2,200 is 176. Thank you. Now, I don't know how long that took, but 45 minutes, hour later, we now have peacock colored clay, robin's egg blue, red, orchid, green, orange. This is basically where you start for everything like this, all the marbled, carved, whatever stuff. I'm gonna throw one piece on the wheel that is a piece of each of these colors, just so you can kind of see. Uh, what it looks like, but normally what I would do is kind of like mix in white with that So I would take the plain white clay wherever that went and then you know Put a layer of blue and then a layer of white and then a layer of green and then a layer of white and then a layer of purple or whatever Just so you can stretch out The clay because obviously this was difficult to make so now we want to treat it's a it's expensive and B the colored clay is a labor intensive So we want to make it last as long as possible while still getting the great results that we want So we'll take a piece of red a piece of green a piece of blue a piece of whatever that is a piece of this and a piece of this. Then I'm just gonna wedge it up like couple times, not too much or else the colors will get really blended. If I cut it in half, then you can kind of see what's going on inside of there. It's 
pretty cool. But then you can even like use that to make different designs. So then I'll smash it together this way. And that'll even make the colors do even different stuff. So, all right, now we're gonna hop on the wheel and let's throw this guy. Well, we did it. We made up these six colors of clay and we threw a very nice cup that will give us a good representation of all the colors. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you have any tips, tricks of your own. You know, one thing that seems super inefficient is how long it takes to actually wedge in all the pigment and it just like seems like it takes forever. And yeah, if you're not up for a lot of wedging, then this project isn't probably for you. If you wanna get your own pigments, uspigment.com, check out the link in the description. Otherwise, check out a restock of ours in the coming, you know, probably early to mid-April, probably more like mid-April, we'll do another restock and we'll probably have some marbled cups with these colors in them. All right, let me know if there's questions. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful, happy, healthy day. I hope you're enjoying your time at home. Hopefully you're entertained by some things that I'm doing in my studio if you can't be in yours. So, all right. Hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all the things. See you guys in the next video.